guys, so today I'm going to be doing this makeup look. It's like this rose gold, purple, halo eye that I've been wanting to do. And I'm just like super excited about this look. So if you want to learn how I got this on my face, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to be going in with NYX Cosmetics eyeshadow base in ESBO3 with a little blending brush and I'm just going to blend that right into my eyes. Now I'm going to be taking the shade Classic from the Tardis Pro palette that just came out and I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to put that right into where I put the base just so that I can set the base. And then now I'm going to be taking the shade Whimsy from the Tardis Pro palette and I'm just going to be putting that in my crease. And now I'm going to be taking a small uh, packing brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Mod from the Tardis Pro palette. And I'm just going to be taking that and putting that all over my eyelid. And now I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush and I'm going to dip that into Drama from the, Tarte Pro pa the Tardis Pro palette. And I'm going to put that all in my crease to deepen up the crease a little bit. And then now I'm going to be taking the shade Vamp and I'm going to be using the same fluffy brush and I'm just going to go right on top of Drama to add a little bit more color and get the deepness that I want. Now I'm going to be taking the shade Classic again and I'm going to be putting that on my brow bone. And then I decided to add a little bit more of a whiter shade called Vintage from the same palette and I'm just going to be blending that right in. Now I'm going to be taking the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Edition Textured Palette in shade Rose Gold and I'm actually not going to be using the brush. I'm going to be using my finger and I'm just going to pat that right on top of Mod. I'm going to be taking Drama from the palette and I'm just going to blend that right in on top of where the rose gold is. Now I'm going to take another fluffy brush and I'm going to add in a little bit more of drama just to give it a little bit more of a halo effect and then add more as needed. And then going back into the Huda Beauty palette, I'm going to be taking the shade Angelic and I'm going to be putting that in my inner corners of my eyes with a little detail brush. Then I'm going to be curling my lashes and I'm going to be using the Tarte Tardis mascara today and also the Lancome Hypnos mascara. And then I'm going to be using a Lancome black eye pencil for my under eye area, skipping my usual cat eye. And now I'm going to be using the Becca backlight primer and I'm just going to dot that all over my face and blend it in like usual. Now I'm going to be taking my Holy Grail, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, and I'm just going to dot that all over my face, and then I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender. I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Gleam Glow Kit in Starburst and Crushed Pearl, and I'm going to mix those two together evil, evenly with a Morphe fan brush. And then I'm going to be putting that on the high points of my cheekbones, my nose, and my cupid's bow. And then I'm going to be taking the Park Avenue Princess Bronzer from Tarte. And I'm just going to be blending that in with a dense contouring brush. And 
And then I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush and using a middle mauve shade from the Morphe 9B palette. And I'm just going to be putting that right in between where I bronzed and highlighted so that I can effortlessly blend it in together. Now I'm going to be taking a big blending brush and I'm just going to blend all of that together in an upward motion. And I'm going to be taking the banana shade from the Anastasia contour palette just to set the areas that I haven't bronzed or highlighted or anything. And then I'm going to be taking the Park Avenue Princess again and I'm just going to be contouring my nose and my forehead. And then I'm going to be taking the banana shade and a little contouring brush that is used to blend it out. And I'm just going to blend those things out real fast. I'm going to be using the Bianca Ultra Matte Lip from ColourPop. And I'm just going to be putting that on my lips, obviously. And then I'm going to be taking the Brow Definer from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just going to fill in my brows with that. 